Oh shit. Okay, here we are. We're in the we're in the zone. I love being in the zone. Um, I'm in that that anime zone, baby. I'm I'm supposed to be <laughs> I'm supposed to be in the anime zone, but I'm not. And well, I what apologize. do you mean? What, what I you faltered mean? really for the first time in how many years? What uh, happened? I uh, I'm so you moved you moved once, right? Yeah. Was that uh, a living nightmare? Um, I don't know. Most of it was spent on the road, so I can't. I don't really didn't really have much time to think about it. Okay, because I've just it's been a been a heck of a week for me. Oh my god! How much how much anime did you get to watch? Uh, we're, we'll be able to talk about. Let's see, one, two, three. I don't mind. Like it's four, fine. Four shows this episode. I, that's fine. As that long as they're the right four shows, otherwise I'm gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> I mean, you you already know they're on the list. I know. It's, I, it's, it's no big thing. It's no big thing, man. It's um, cool. Well, how was your how have been your moving adventures? It stinks. I are you to... where are you? Are you currently in your new spot at your old home? I'm still in my old home. It's my second to last day. Oh my god! In the old home, and I I've been packing. Packing's not a big deal. It's mostly just all of the emails and phone calls I have to make to make sure. Uh-huh. I live in a new place. Like which, you actually do. Which is just like the worst thing for me. Mm. Uh, really. It's just awful. So I think many. we actually have five, by the way. I don't think so. Mitsu, uh, Mits- we didn't talk about Mitsubashi colors last time. Oh, I counted that one. Oh, I know. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I didn't so. get to watch them. I've been busy. Oh, you didn't watch Mitsubashi colors? I know I did. Oh, okay. All right, whatever. Um, anyways, yeah, that's that's. Uh, so you play, you're, you're in the preliminary uh, thing. Yeah, when I, when I was moving, I didn't actually have a place I was moving to, so I. I uh, okay. It, it really made it easy because I was just living in somebody's garage. Um, yeah, and also you had a bunch of other dudes, so you can kind of delineate things. I had I have to furnish an entire apartment by, by myself. So here's the it's thing. It's been so many days of par- of furniture shop furniture shopping. Fuck, it sucks. By the way. Hey, that's why we only have one couch. <laughs> that's that's why we have. I can barely find one couch. It's oh. um yeah um, uh, it, the first three the first two and a half to three weeks was just me, um in oh, my right. own place and it was like ecstasy. I, bet. I could do as, I could do as much butt stuff as I wanted. Oh no! Just just liberate my anus stop. and nobody was there to stop. No, I don't want to hear about keep it caged. Uh, you can't you can't cage my butthole. It's, it's can't be tamed. Uh, uh, I know. But like uh, uh, um, that was cool. And now I'm living with people, and now I'm, I'm back into the uh, like having to care about other people's well being. And like, not really um, though. I've been there. You don't really have to. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to. I, I've decided that I will be living by myself. Um, after. Right after this period uh and uh i'll i'll take notes from you um because well, you know you, you consulted with me a little bit i'll consult with you a little bit on the living on your own thing um anyways well yeah, i think I you're know. you're thinking you're gonna like it you, you, you were asking me about a tv Are you buying a terabyte i'm be- i'm buying it i'm be- i'm buying a tv yeah i'm buying a 55 inch tv f- for the three times a year i watch something on a tv or whatever. so you can watch the superb owl i was thinking like Oh man, wouldn't it be cool if I had a new setup? Invite the boys over for the Super Bowl, and I'm like, they're probably gonna be busy. They're probably not even gonna come over. Fucking, they don't appreciate me. I appreciate you. Oh, thanks. But you, um, what? Ha- so, I had to buy a bed, you know, bed frame. Yeah. And I was at the Goodwill, and I found the exact bed frame that I was using here that I'm not wow. taking with me that my folks. Uh, I want to keep. I just found the exact same one, and I was like, "Oh heck yeah!" I was like, "Yes, I'll take this, please." And as they're carrying it out, I see that one of the one of the legs of the end of the bed has just been gnawed to shit by a dog, <laughs> and it's just torn to shreds. And That's just, well, that, that just makes it the, the easier for you to gnaw on. And I was—they you know? were already like lifting it up, so I was just like, eh, "It's fine." So, so I, I just have this this bed that's just the, the whole thing is just torn up it's it looks hilarious well dude just get a uh um uh, what the fuck is it even called a um, belt sander yeah no um a bed skirt get a bed skirt man 
It'll cover that shit up good. It wouldn't cover that part. No, it's the top. It's at the top. Oh. Uh, but I, I got someone working on it for me. It looks. What it you, looks. It, it looks basically new now, or not new, but it looks. It doesn't look like it's. It's been attacked by a, by a canine. I um. So I, I, have I told you about my my big old whiteboard I bought? You said you were buying a white. Or no, you said you had a whiteboard. Yeah, I think I remember yeah. that. It is no longer covered in cocks, um, which is what happens if you own Aww. a whiteboard in, in places with people that you know. Of course. Like to draw dicks because they're men. Uh, now it is it is covered in in um, borderline schizophrenic writing as I plot out a movie. Basically, that's what you want. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's like just need some red string and some tacks, which doesn't really work on a whiteboard. But you get you the get, idea. You can get like magnetic tacks if you want some some yeah. extra craziness added. I'm gonna be I'm, extra I'm gonna, twisted. I'm gonna send you my my uh, a snap of it because you're on the Snapchat now. I am on. I'm, I'm part of the digital world. Yeah. Snapchat fucking sucks. It's all right. Most of the time. I just sent some good stuff. Did you, you see no, this? I've made so much stuff and I was like, oh yeah, this is awesome. Then I watch it and it's like, this is garbage. Just the format is inherently bad. I oh, think. I think you're I think you're wrong. I just sent one that I'm pretty proud of. Oh, the, yeah. The one you sent me five minutes ago was the first thing that I actually genuinely laughed at on Snapchat. That it's, was uh, actually that is, very good. That is a clip from, from uh, Samurai 2, which is a great movie. Did you watch Samurai 1? Um, I did. Yeah, it's a trilogy. Yeah, Dave and nice. I are going through it right now. It's uh, Samurai's 1 through 3. It's a story of Masashi Miyamoto, who is a legendary samurai. That's not very uh, schizophrenic. That's all organized. It's not. I don't like it. It's uh, it's when you get in there, that's when you start to see it. I can't zoom in, but okay, I'll take your word yeah, for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, samurai were super gay, didn't, don't you know? Oh, I'm. I, he just rejected... He just... Uh, Resigned himself from the love of women, or but did he? Fuck. But did he affirm his love of little samurai boys? He did. He did take a little samurai liege in this film. Yep. Yeah, they did a, that. A disciple. Yeah. yeah I, I think that, that would be his little little fuck toy. But, uh, no, a little twink sam- samurai. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was like the 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 the, the uh, cut bits from Afro Samurais where he took a little black twink boy to to be his disciple. I like you, and I want you. <laughs> Uh, that's, All a good, right. that's a good television program. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I, I should love, watch it. I don't know. I watched all of it. <laughs> I fucking nice because, like, you know, it's in high school. I don't know any black people, so I'm no, like, yeah. Uh, so I wasn't I, it uh, still going until like recently? I feel like they were still making those at a really, really late date. They there was like, a there was a seasons one through three, and then they revived it uh, for a season four, which is ass. Uh, okay, yeah, so, as usually as, happens. as it goes. Um, Can't wait in, for Fooly Cooly seasons two and three. Woo woo! Woo woo! Um, God, I have, have not heard. They from couldn't that have in just given it to Trigger. This couldn't. Have, I don't know. They wanted. I don't know. Fucking cares. Fuck. I can't wait to watch it. We got anime. We got. Uh, yeah, we didn't talk about Mitsuboshi Colors last week. Yes. And now we will. Oh you hell yeah! It. I sure did. A manga by Silver Link. Ooh. Um, it's a show about, uh, it's, I'm told this is basically, um, Ichigo Marshmallow, but new. Mm. And if so, Ichigo Marshmallow is pretty good. Yeah. Because I, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I'm about this. It's a, it's like a slightly edgy kind of, uh, um, it, uh, I don't want to say misanthropic because that's too far, but like a um, sadistic moe show. I don't know if that makes well, sense. One of the characters has a, yeah. has a has a quirk. It's got it's got a bit of edge to it. You know, it's it's a it, there's three girls. They are identified by their color. One of them's red. One of them's blue. One of them's yellow. They have a, basically this little club, or you know, like they they go to a clubhouse yeah, where they like a, they're like a mystery solver gang. Basically, and they're gonna look out for. They're gonna protect the innocent, and you know all that shit. And um, they, they, they're they're little rapscallions, and they actually end up causing more trouble than than they're trying to solve. Um, they just uh, they just kind of stir up shit. They're mischievous. Yes. Yep. And that's the show. It's, and they have what's up? They they've what got a it? cop. They got a cop buddy who they bother all the time. Yeah, their relationship with the cop is very good because they're. 
it's just bants. It's just like they just mm-hmm. fucking they hate each other, but in a kind of it's great sort of a ceasefire. It's very uh, endearing. And they have a shop owner who likes them and oh, I don't remember <laughs> what happens in the first in the second episode. He's like kind of making mysteries for them to solve the shop owner, which is that's good, in the first one as well. Uh, which is it, a, it, that's, a, that's a really good thing to. Uh, that's just great, great dynamics between all these yes. characters. It's yes. very good. <laughs> And 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 because uh, you know they all got their different personalities. So the blue one is sadistic. The yellow the yellow one is outgoing and kind of uh, a troublemaker. And the the red one is uh, kind of uh, she's a good goody two shoes. She's a good girl. So she kind of when when they when the um, the antics start, she gets in over her head and kind of cries a little bit. It's it's really it's very 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 endearing. Yeah. The the. Every time they just draw, because it's like the the jokes, <laughs> the jokes about the 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 girl who's clearly, uh, uh, just a absolute sadist, are very just yeah. quick and subtle, and it's just mm. like something bad will happen to someone, and she'll just be like, "Hmm, yeah." <laughs> and then just cut to something else, <laughs> or, or or like uh, it, she she enjoys stepping on people, right? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, that's. It's good. I don't my know. favorite, my favorite gag in the entire thing is they're they're trying to solve a riddle in, in about uh, pan. It's you, aka bread, you know, like uh, yeah, they, like it's just related to to the pan and and, <laughs> and uh, they go to a bread store or like a bakery and um, she runs in and just yelling and gets herself kicked out <laughs> and uh, and like, like the other girls, the other girls hang back because they're like this is this is a recipe for disaster. Um, so they hang back, and then she leaves the store kind of uh, disappointed, and she's like, oh, they, they yelled at me a lot. And yep. then she, she runs back in there, uh, calls them idiots, and runs back out. <laughs> that's good stuff. That's, that's good. It's good Moe shit. It's, it's like um, Slice of Life, but with kind of a, a little bit edgier spin. I like it. I like yeah, it a lot. It's, it's almost old-timey with these kids just always hanging outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're never at home. They're just in the clubhouse or out about... Uh, for, uh, for it, this is unrelated thematically, topically, but the 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 motif of kids hanging out in like tin, um, like hideout kind of like it's almost like in Anohana. You know how they've got that almost, like that hideout yeah. place, um, and you know they're playing Pokemon there, and blue girls always playing whatever video game. You know, um, I wonder if that's a common theme or common thing in japan it's the best that's all i know it's pretty it's pretty darn good i really really enjoyed this first episode that i saw this first episode gave me visions of being a a cool shop owner weaving a bunch of kids through a long mystery throughout an entire summer and giving them the best summer of their lives and i'll be like it it made me it made me uh it it made me think about how i want to fuck with my kids (laughs) when i have kids someday i'm just gonna just gonna fuck with them you know like like I might just come home one day and pretend to be somebody else. You know what I mean? Just like, just <laughs> well, like that's a little far. No, 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 no. A bit harsh. <laughs> no, no, like that's it's like the dad in you know, Calvin and Hobbes. You know what I mean? I don't like, think I don't think the dad in Calvin and Hobbes was just straight up gaslighting his son. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it to that level. Emotionally destroying him by like. Just, just desecrating the the idea of the identity yeah. of his father. This this is 2018, man. It's all about those YouTube hits. <laughs> it's 2018, bitch. We gaslighting our chillins. Me gaslighting my five year old kid. Lol. <laughs> Fif- that's 50 million hits in a day. See, my stuff would basically just involve ghosts. Because when you own a house, it's pretty easy to make it seem like there's ghosts in that bitch. Yeah. So well, I because there probably are anyway. I would just I would I would raise a son that is so sure of that is that is so invested in the occult that he's just fucking just gone absolutely gone totally <laughs> he's totally unredeemable giant giant bags <laughs> under his eyes stays up for hours <laughs> on the night doing cult shit yeah yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna enlist my parents because my parents are game like that's oh, absolutely the thing. Uh, you know you know my mom would be down for that like, just, like I'm like mom I'm gonna fuck with my kids really hard I need <laughs> oh, you oh yeah. She's like, oh, Ethan, that's such a good idea. Oh, golly. That'd be so funny. I'm going to destroy this little bitch. That little fucker's going to shit his pants. Oh, oh that is too funny. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Did you watch yeah, any? That's, sh- what's up? Go ahead. Did you watch any shorts? I've not watched them yet. I was intending to watch those because we're going to have like an incomplete um, at a certain, because we're doing six an episode and it's going to be, well, theoretically. Mm. <laughs> um, but I'll do those. They'll, they'll happen. But I haven't seen them yet. That's no problem. Yeah, did, cool. did you watch Gaku and Babysitters though? Sure did. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Manga from Br- from Br- Brain Space. Hey, how's it going, Brain Space? This show is about a a bunch of little chubber guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> uh, they're yeah. That's just kind of. That's just kinda, they're cute and they got moms. <laughs> <laughs> this show. This okay. Let's be let's be real. Okay, so this show is about the main character whose name eludes me. He his parents die and he's left looking after his younger brother. Yeah. And he gets a, a call or what do you know? Like the 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 headmistress of a of a school reaches out to him and is like, "Hey, I'll take you in." And he gets taken she's in. She's like oh, his grandmother. No. He she knows him somehow, right? No, no. It's from they they only met each other at the wake. Um, because there was a group wake for uh, for for the 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 people who died on this airplane crash, oh. um, hmm. she also lost her children on that crash. So, ah, uh, um, so jeez, you paid attention to this baby show. I'm I always fucking pay attention. <laughs> well, especially when there's cute little babies running around. It's too oh. funny. It's so funny. But uh, um, anyways, he the condition for him being able to go to this you know, pretty expensive looking or seeming high school is that he has to be a member of the babysitter club and care for the children of teachers who teach at that school. It's just, um, it's, it, excuse me, in Japan, uh, wondrously, they do say baby shitter. Hmm. So I'm just, Whoa. just making that, uh, just throwing that out there. Making sure everyone knows. Baby shitter. Uh, I just heard a a distant drinking sound. Yeah, what do you think that was? Well, I don't know. What was that? It was Svedka, is what it was. Oh shit! I've got a I've got some Lone Star, which is the only thing I drink anymore. I've been Svedka is the only thing I've drank for probably six months because it's the the bottle perfectly fits in my uh, desk drawer, uh, and I I I've I've tried to th- find other bottles, but I'm like. I'm like desperately looking up the dimensions on the internet while the oh people, my God. All, all the people in the store are like, "Hey, you need any help?" And I was like, "No, leave me alone." Did you have a measuring tape? <laughs> I, I was like, "No, I can't bring a measuring tape. I can't like, I can't, uh, I can't be like comparing bottles. I'll think I'm crazy." And I just have like three people walking up to me going, "Hey, you need help finding anything?" I'm like, "No," and I just run to this Fedco and I just give up every time. So it's you know, it's gonna be good for you to live on your own. <laughs> it's gonna be very good. I, I need to. Oh God, let me live. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I've been I've been drinking nothing but Lone Star as a joke. Um, I because we were so the other night. Uh, this is d- diverting from Gaku and Babysitters, which I will return to because I have That's strong funny. opinions. Strong opinions on Wait, the show. Wait, Lone Star, not the uh, the really really old band that I'm looking up. At no, the, right the, now the beer, the Emerson. beer. Whoa, you're into beer. Um, well, not really. I think beer is still pretty bad, and this isn't even like a good one. But, um, so, uh, we, Matt Johnson, wait, oh, fuck, you're gonna have to cut that. God damn it. <laughs> no, there's no, dude. It, what, wait, that's name, the most generic name his ever. His name is, we can say his name all we want. His name is Matt Johnson. <laughs> yeah, so, so this guy we named, isn't his middle name terribly generic as well? I'm trying to remember. I don't oh, know it's William. Wow. <laughs> it's, that's the, <laughs> impossible, undetectable. Yeah, good but, luck, fuckers. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um. He was in town, and we were watching the film uh, Everybody Wants Some, which is like my sixth time in a year seeing that movie. Oh, my God. Uh, and uh, they, they were drinking Lone Star in the movie. Of course. And, then, and they were like, wait a minute, I want some Lone Star. So we walked to the local food mart, got Lone Star, and walked back and continued to watch the movie. And the only thing I've had to drink since then in terms of <laughs> alcoholic beverages has been Lone Star. And I'm going to see how long I can keep it up. It's pretty rancid. It's I, I really don't like it. But... <laughs> But uh, I want to see how long I can do this for. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is going to be a good episode. Uh, so you, you're drinking. You're drinking. 
You're drinking beer exclusively, ironically, <laughs> yes. which is the most Austin thing I've ever heard in my yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, when we've gone out to eat, I'll be and they're like, "When are you going to drink?" I'll just take a Lone Star, and I'm like, "I'm spending three dollars." I'm like, "This is fucking terrible." <laughs> this the way you said. That's all I've drank since then. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cheap. Oh. The benefit is it's cheap. You can okay. get a. You can get it's a not in pack. restaurants. It's cheap. Uh, it's. Relatively cheap in restaurants. You're spending four or five dollars on a beer in a restaurant. Okay, you can get a Lone Star right. anywhere for three bucks. Nice. Uh, which isn't that. It's a dollar up charge from what you'd be spending. It, you know? <laughs> um, but anyways, um, so yeah, I've, I've been drinking that, uh, and that's bad. I'm, I intend. I, I was gonna buy some Suntory whiskey, but they were fucking out. So. Uh. Anyways, back to Gaku and babysitter, babysitters. Um, so it just takes care. My favorite's the little. Uh, yeah, the little girl, the little the, baby girl. The li- you knew before I even said, yeah, you, yeah. Like it's like she's sometimes like anime will have like like all the characters are technically Asian, but they'll have one that's like extra Asian, and they got this little fucking chink girl, and her eyes are they just get, get that got the pointiness, and she likes to yeah. cook, and it oh, it's the best. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's really cute. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I didn't. I, I I'm like this is. Probably not good television, but I've never seen babies this cute in anything ever. So I'm like totally into it. Like, just I I, I don't know. The babies um, are very cute. It is very boring. Uh, they, they th- okay, this should have been a short. This is my main criticism. Of that's this, a good it. yeah. This functions way better as a maybe eleven minute show. You know what I mean? Or, or like, like look just at little. How, look at how cute these little fuckers are. Don't worry about. I don't need dead parents. I don't need yeah, airplane so crashes. So much, so much prelude to the stuff that we care about, which is cute baby antics. Like yeah. there's, there's the like the outgoing one who, who, who's, uh, who's got the sword and he's all like, you know, he's, he's into fucking um, Power Rangers and shit. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know. And then there's the little drowsy baby, which is uh, the, the younger brother. And then, oh, his, you know, his younger brother is so fucking. I think they're. I think they live in one of those states where they give the babies the CBD because <laughs> this dude cannot keep his fucking eyes open. He is what he is out. He's gone. He, he's a cowlicky baby or cowlicky baby. So he, they give him a little bit of whiskey on the fucking. He's, bo- the he thingy. exists in a <laughs> fractal, experiencing itself. Mm. He's traveling through space and time, all the time. He can't live. <laughs> I wish. I know my true spirit baby is the outgoing one, <laughs> but I wish I was that baby on the inside. He looks fucking chill. It's true. Yeah. Uh, Gaku and babysitters. In spite of in spite of itself, I enjoyed it. I, like, it's doing everything it can to make me not enjoy it by just, like, throwing, like, like <laughs> needless backstory in there when I really just want baby antics. Because, like, when you're in the room, it's, like, when you're in the babies, like, you know, the babysitting club room, it's entertaining. And then the second you leave, it just becomes immediately less compelling. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And they have to have like a crisis. Like, oh, no, the baby's got a fever. Oh, oh this, fuck. this it episode w- comes to a head. Contrived bullshit. Yeah, whatever. I just want four. It should be a, this should be a four coma adaptation. It you know what I mean? Be, I mean, it should be half cute ass babies and half harem with the moms. You are speaking my fucking language right, right now. That's just give the people what they want. God damn it. Okay. They're really cl- they it's 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 like it is a 5 out of 10. I could rewrite this shit in 5 minutes and make it a fucking dime piece. You know if, what I mean? If like, it was Kiyomani instead of Brain Space, that's what they would be doing. Oh. Oh, Kiyomani's sexy moms are I, Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Have you seen Kyo Kind of Kata? Don't tempt me with this shit. <laughs> oh god. I can't uh, I don't even want to think about it. But anyway, it's it could it's it's better than it has any right to be cuz the babies are good. <laughs> the babies are all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do we got? Uh, we got um, Kokoku. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. The show. Oh, you watched it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, I, I, yeah. <laughs> a, a manga. Do you not, are you not seeing? I've, I've seen everything up through uh, Karaki no Ko, Karaki no Joe. <laughs> Fuck. You're, and you're not even saying the no in the right spot. Just read the words, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm a little Kampa, Kampai Joshi. 
uh, whatever. Uh, I, I've seen up through that. So I've seen up through that, but I haven't watched Rio no Oshigoto because I tried to watch it half an hour or an hour ago, but then I had to poop real bad. All right. So I didn't That's get to it. The, the equivalent of what that show is. So. Aww. It's a little bit much, but anyways, I mean, yeah. Kokoku. Kokoku is uh, yeah, Mango by Gino Studio, who I think is brand new. I don't know who the heck that is. Um, it's this is like a it's it's a fa- it's a show about family, and that's what's important. It subverts your expectations. It it actually kind of did. <laughs> Um, in a, in weird ways. Yeah. So it's, it's like, um, the, the, uh, the, 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 there's a lady, there's a girl, young girl, she's doing job interviews, uh, and they got this family and they're all kind of losers, but you know, they, they, they're close. They seem tight knit. Um, and then there is, then there's an opening, <laughs> And oh I, my god hey, it's one of those cluttered openings hey music man do you know what genre this is besides bad uh, uh i'm gonna call it ass rap okay sure um it's, ass rap. It, it's it's one of them you know like those really cluttered openings where they have like 15 layers going you know what i mean like Kinda. not the song but like the visuals oh where these yeah. have just stacked as many filters on top of each Your other ergo proxies i like that usually this is a bad implementation of that. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I would call it bad, like horrid. Have you watched the uh, second episode of Pop Team, Ep- Top, Pop Team Epic? I have not. <laughs> Start downloading it right now. I'm watch it, downloading watch it, this. Watch it when we're done recording. <laughs> okay, this is, this is the, you I'm gonna me finish Pop Team Epic. Pop Team I'm gonna Epic it. went, it was like, the first episode was like, alright, they might be doing it, and the second episode is like, alright, they're doing it. They're fucking, yes! They're fucking, yes! They're fucking doing it. Yes! Like, they, like, you think that because it's a shit post, the, the, because like 99% of shit post anime is they shit it out because, you know, who cares, right? It's just, yeah, it's just it's a clever just, one? It's just silly garbage. They, that, sh- that shit has a budget. That shit, they Fuck. fucking, they fucking went crazy. I don't, it's unbelievable. It's, um, it's, oh my it's, God. It's, it's, it's what we would have hoped it would be. It really, it really is, yeah. Fuck, that's the best. I, I, nothing's really, like, lived up to what, like, nothing that's intentionally bad has lived up to my expectations in some time. Yeah, so the, the, more, the, the more money you spend making something retarded, the better it is, and, like, yes. Pop Team Epic Episode 2 starts out with the, with just the opening. Yes! Uh... <laughs> And I, I just I can't stop watching it. It fucking it downloaded. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna can I watch the opening? Just watch the opening. I didn't okay. even know it was the opening when I started it. I was confused. Okay, so is it the TV screen here? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, this is art, baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Holy shit. Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, oh my, my God. Like, what are they doing? Oh what? This guy's got a mustache? That, oh, my God. That fucking guy. <laughs> that, that shot. They, I can't believe they did it. Is what it, <laughs> right? the thing. Like, <laughs> it's, yeah. Like, how did they do it? I don't know. It's it's just the right team finally got the right material. You know what I mean? The female voice actors in episode two are are Aoi Yuki and uh, Takitatsu, uh, whatever. It's Kirino and Madoka doing the voices. Holy shit! My eyes just kind of glazed over. I'm in awe. <laughs> It's it's perfect. <laughs> it's, it's, Is it's, it cool uh, time yet? Uh, uh, I'm I'm at the very end here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you you haven't even watched the episode. The episode. The it's ep- it's is it the same thing where it's split down the middle? Yeah. Well, no, they're different. They're more different this time. Oh they're shit. They're basically the same, but there's some stuff that's more different. But also, there's there's a. <laughs> There's a musical number that 
is probably as awe-inspiring as the opening. Um, it's ridiculous. You know, I believe in anime again. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know if it's anime, but yeah, it's it's the craziest well, it's, thing it's, I've it's seen in a while. It's a thing that can only exist in that it, it can't exist outside of the genre of anime it's a it's yeah. meta it's the most meta thing ever like you can't pull it out of that because you all the all the jokes lose context it's it's fucking i i can't wait to watch that a second episode it's very good it's like they made it for us it's, yeah okay i'll yeah it's it's i'm not it's just saying like i haven't felt like something reached me in a while you know what i mean like just like my kind of retarded yeah, I mean, it's like the jo- half the jokes aren't even good. They're like bad, but I still love it so much. All of like half the jokes in this podcast are bad. But anyways, Coke Coke Optimistic. Coco Coo. Coco Coo. Um it's this epi- the first episode of Coco Coo is like a is like 1.1 1. 1 gigs cuz of the grain. Did you notice the grain? I noticed the grain. I'm not complaining, but boy. That's all that's some grain. Some fine there's green. Way, way other. Th- there's so many other things to complain about <laughs> before the green. The character design is a little gross, but uh, th- there's a kidnapping. A uh, creepy uncle has to pick up a kid. <laughs> they get kidnapped, Ugh. and then um, uncle, uh, grandpa of the family, lets everyone know that they have a super secret magic stone. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they freeze time, and the and the lady and her brother and uh, grandpa just uh, walk to the place where the kidnappers are holding the guy, our our our, our boys, and uh, rescue them. Now, now, did you notice that um, like seventy five percent of the slowdown things are exactly taken from the film Clock Stoppers? Oh boy, did I! <laughs> 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 well, it's I mean. I noticed that the effect was like clock stoppers because the looks, way the way they yeah. pan around stuff going whoosh, whoa, whoa, whoosh, it just reminded me a lot of clock st- of clock stoppers. Yes, I'm glad we're on the same wavelength here. Uh, uh, hey, if clock stoppers freeze the future, TM. Wow. Yeah. Didn't we try to watch clock stoppers recently? And we, we completed we, clock stoppers. What? No, we didn't. I wasn't there. <laughs> I don't think. No, I'd remember that. I'm now looking at the track list for the soundtrack to Clock Stoppers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You have Smash Mouth, Sugar Ray, and Third Eye Blind all in one place together. Holy shit. Featuring Nickelback, Blink-182, and Simple Plan. Oh, fuck me. Rounded out by, rest in peace, the Cranberries. Disney, they had that money. It was Nickelodeon, actually. It's a Nickelodeon still. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah, they they rescue the uh, the kidnapped people, and then immediately, oh no, there's other people with time stop abilities, and then they get beaten up, and then the grandpa has uh, he can teleport a little bit, but just a little bit, and then there's a big nasty guy named Harold who show who shows up, <laughs> and then the ED is really really sexy for some reason. Yes, it is. And it's um, just like it's like it's like really. It's like re. It's like re, this hip. Oh my god! This uh, this this show is, uh, brings nothing to the genre of of time stopping fiction. Everything that happens in this was already covered in the film Clock Stoppers. Yeah, well, I I think they'll probably have other abilities. I think they're like a secret magic family. Yes. Uh, who will do which? Other why stuff. why weren't they doing this earlier? They're they're all basically scumbags. It seems based on the where they're at you know he explained he had a whole scene dedicated to explaining that it's because people who use it too much become extra bad they just become nasty pickpocket yeah. people and pervert they're, sex they're perverts. already they're already na- nasty people they're all just playing around the, the son's playing video games at 31 and just looking at tv all day and the dad's but watching the, him play video games but at least they're trying are they they're not bad people they're just uh they just suck a little bit yeah, they're not bad people. They're just neutral people. They just like don't exist. Sure. Which is, I guess, a, ne- a net positive. You know, it's better than the alternative. But yeah, this this I, is uh, this is a weird one. It's like, first of all, couldn't we have had a little bit of time where they were the only ones with the cool time stoppy powers before introducing the baddies with the also the powers? 
because that's the that's the traditional formula, and I feel like it ain't broke. I feel like you don't have to because they that didn't one. really get to revel in it at all. Yeah, they just pick them up. They just talk a while about the powers, and then they pick the guys up, and then immediately they're just getting beaten up by other time stopu uh, uh, mag- magicians. I don't. Know, I feel like you don't have to do that one. I had a complaint, but it's gone now. That means it wasn't really a complaint. You actually love this show. Oh my god, it's true. Um, Favorite of the season. Ah, uh, fuck. It was pretty biting. It was really like a nice, <laughs> like, it's just, oof, cutting to the, car, the so heart of good. this it, show. It incorporated fucking continental and analytic philosophy. Mm. I borrowed a bunch of verses from Pynchon. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah, know how yeah. to pronounce his name. <laughs> it's Pynchon. Okay. It's just Thomas like, Pynchon. Yeah, it's just, it's just pinch. It just sounds like a verb, you know, it's like, hey, I'm Pynchon. I, so I so I, I I finished the book Slaughterhouse Five way earlier this year. Actually, that's last year at this point. And I've been reading. Um, I, it takes me a while to read things now because I'm so far out of practice on reading books. Like it's at least uh, you're at least you're somewhat in practice. I'm just gone. I can't do books. It's really it, there. When I was like try like in like 2014, I picked up books and literally couldn't finish the first page because <laughs> yeah. my like my, my ADD was so severe. Like it's, you know like it's, that It's a serious problem. It's It's not even funny. Look No, no, no. It's it was genuinely disheartening to look at a page of text and not not be able to finish it. Yeah. And um, you know, I finished Slaughterhouse 5 and that was a complete fucking undertaking. And then from there it's gotten progressively easier. You know, I, I read um Hell's Angels, and now I'm reading All Quiet on the Western Front. And um, Hell's Angels was really, like, that's an easy read because it's super pulpy and, and fun, and, um, like, the characters are super k- kooky crazy. And All Quiet on the Western Front is a little bit more involved, and you have to be kind of more a little more engaged than you have to be with Hell's Angels. And um, it's significantly more difficult uh, and I find myself tapping out of it quicker than when I did when the, than with Hell's Angels. Mm. And I'm like, how far have I actually come? Like, have I not actually progressed that far at all? And and do I need to kind of stick to the, like the just the easy reading, you know, like stuff before I delve into anything? No, else? man, it's immersion therapy. When I start reading uh, books, I'm gonna just first thing Gravity's Rainbow right off the bat, baby. Oh yeah, just yeah, yeah. two thousand pages, infinite jest. Let's go. Two two thousand pages of of light bulbs having sex and uh, missile penises and. Uh, and and fucking three thousand characters. <laughs> it's impossible. I tried to play. I tr- one of the first things I tried to pick up was like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to read um, on the, the. I'm going to read the genealogy of morals, which is fucking <laughs> impenetrable already. Like like even at my height of my my peak reading, I would not have been able to really like parse it because I. I it's it's you have to be really involved, and I just I'm not at that point. Just start out with Hegel. <laughs> oh god even hegel oh. didn't understand hegel <laughs> even even like people discussing hegel is over my head it's because like the second you get into any sort of philosophical text that's self-referential and you know basically metatextual it's gone i can't i can't keep up <laughs> i can't keep up with the fucking names it's um but yeah um I, none of this is related to coco um <laughs> no <laughs> no not at all this is just us being upset at, at how fucking stupid we are. At least we're trying, damn it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get you, modernity. Your ass uh. is grass. <laughs> um, uh. But that show doesn't seem great. I don't know. Nah, it's... it's uh, Maybe it'll go somewhere interesting, though. I don't know. Pr- pretty weak. I, uh, the, 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 slow, the slow down time stuff... W- oh! Fuck, I figured out... This isn't actually criticism. This is a praise of the show. I, oh. I, well, my memory is go. totally shot. You do love it. Thanks, thanks, Lone Star. But, um... I really like the creature design in this. There's a there's Well, the a one monster, creature. Yeah, the, at the end of the first episode that I think looks fucking awesome. Sure, very, um, uh... Yeah, very... I want to say Dark Souls, but people get angry when you compare things to Dark Souls because Dark Souls just... You know, it's just uh, referential, so it's probably Lovecraftian or something. I don't know. It's, it's really sp- organic looking. It's a spooky it, boy. It, it's definitely spooky. It almost like made me think of like the Shinigami and Death Note or something, but taken to another extreme. Sure, uh, he looks like a big f- big bush. 
pretty fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Uh, yeah, that covers that show. Yeah, that's something. I don't know. That was probably more discussion than it really deserved. Perhaps. Um, speaking of um, gigantic, sprawling post not postmodern <laughs> epics, um, Karakai Jozu no yes! Takagi-san, yes. Te- teasing master Takagi. Oh, so good. Um, you like this? I love it. <laughs> I'm glad because this is this is one of the rare instances where I'm a manga fag of the show. Yes, and so. I'm just watching this, going, "Oh, the voices are weird." Because the girl's a li- the, the girl's voice is a little bit too sensuous. Well, is no, that your that's, criticism? N- I like her voice. It's just the fake laughing's very bad. Oh yeah, the fake laughing is is she's not good at that. She she and she has to do it every time she does anything, and it's just awful. And it's just it's it's very it's like I don't know to me because I've read every chapter of the manga. It seems very by the numbers. And the atmosphere just does just seems very plain, and the big feet aren't there. The artist loves big feet. Follow him on Twitter. He everything. He's always got the big old feet. You got big foreheads though. The foreheads are on point. The foreheads are are uh, gargantuan and kind of ridiculous. Um, but other than that, it's about a uh, a girl and a boy, and there's there they they um they. They compete in teasing in the teasing games. The teasing. I love it. I love it so much. It, it, it's just a you, you, that the simple innocent crush thing. You know what I mean? Where like you don't know how to express how you feel, so you just have to express it through sheer hatred. Yeah. Oh, well, that might be a bit extreme. Uh, through, <laughs> through 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 you know teasing and you know because you, you you can't tell you that you like somebody. That's that'd be no. gross. Uh, this this is Shinne Animation, who are the Doraemon and, and Shinchan folks, and the show didn't look sense. as bad as the previews made it in, imply. I thought it was going to be like super super low budget. Uh, it's it's just sort of uh, totally Standard average. Um, yeah. But the, 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 there are some weird depth of field effects that kind of look odd to me, hmm. um, where you'll the focus will be on. A character in the foreground and the background will be blurred. It doesn't look really organic to me. It looks like a digital blur. Um, yeah, obviously because it is. But but as for the uh, the the actual dynamic, we got the boy who's um what's his name? I don't know. The girl's Takagi. He's and, Yuki Kaji. No, the other name. Nishitak. Nishi, Nishikata. Nishikata. Yes, Nishika, yeah, Nishikata. Sorry. And um, basically he tries to... It's weird because in the show it almost makes it seem like he started it. In the manga, it all I always got the impression that she's the one, you know, instigating the whole thing. And he tries to, to um, you know, plot against it and reverse it but always ends up failing and everything's telegraphed from a mile away you know exactly how everything's going to end uh so it's mostly just to see sort of her smug reaction to everything she's because he i don't like you know he's just boring he's just mad he's just angry like oh no i've i've been beaten again i've been teased and it's mostly it's just her i like and in the art style uh i don't know but you thought it was good that's good. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I again, I that that pure love really gets <laughs> really strikes me in my, my my the cockles of my my old crusty heart. Um, I I, I love their dynamic. <laughs> it's it, there's not much really to say. I, I I um, it's it reminds me of my own youth. <laughs> Does it now? Yeah, because I was definitely, I was definitely, like, the the girls that I liked and the girls that liked me were always that kind of, you know, like, that, uh, we, you pick on each other, but really, um, at the heart of it, there's a, there's a, a a fondness. Uh, Or maybe, uh, maybe I thought it was that way, but I was actually just being really creepy. Um, I had a little bit of that. I was, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of doing it on per, I don't know. I just kind of, like, played into it. It was weird. One time, this isn't really a tease, but I was thinking about this today. I was in marching band, and there I was in probably tenth grade. This was young. To, to paint the picture, this is young, tanned, sexy, svelte Declan. No, this is like, mm. um, I don't know, maybe, but 
yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's, yeah, I, I mean, I was a marching man, so it was back when I had good posture, so I was probably nice and tall, standing up straight. And there was this, like, seven, seventh grade girl who was also, who also played the trumpet along with me, um, and she was brand new. And it was right before our home show, which was the big one. That was the that was one of the really important ones. And she's going f- while the, while we're have some downtime. She's going through the whole line of the brass section, shaking everyone's hand and then telling them good luck. And uh, and she gets to me and she refuses to touch my hand and she goes ew and then she moves on to the next person. <laughs> and I turn to the guy next to me who is very very it was a very very innocent guy who's like a like a pudgy like really really effeminate guy who would never ever like say or engage in anything offensive just really really wimpy and i turned and as soon as she does that i turn to him and i go cunt <laughs> <laughs> and i say it i say it like full volume like not like just regular spe- speaking funny. volume <laughs> and 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 <laughs> and <laughs> And that was probably the biggest laugh I ever got out of him. I'm That's still so pretty proud. And like all the all the girls in band, including my ex girlfriend, uh, one of whom you know, whose name is or not really know, I don't know. Uh, but they just all very, um, let's say, not fond of of that. Type of behavior. That's the that's the funniest shit. I would right. my goddamn. I would have gotten myself kicked out of it. I would have gotten myself kicked out of watching band if I was yeah. pregnant. Oh, by the way, a bunch of girls confronted this? me about that like months later, saying, "Hey, did you call this girl a cunt?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> well, what did, what was she acting like? Yeah, right. Um, oh, I'm gonna send it. you a picture right quick, just of what my desk looks like right now. Oh no, or maybe oh yes, I don't know what, what you're referring to. Um, oh, Snapchat. Okay, all right. Wow, it's a lot of liquids, my man. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, yeah, come and take it. <laughs> uh, what's the bowl? Uh, what were you eating? That was uh, the bowl was uh, some some yogurt because you know you got to have those. Uh, uh, yogurt's not a dark brown, my man. What is? Oh, because there's a there's a plate on top of the bowl. Okay, and the plate on top of the bowl was leftover Tex Mex. Sweet. Um. Anyways, uh. We got we got to move on from from six Kermit diet Kai. Pepsi's six diet Pepsi's nice um okay the, oh, uh, we don't we, we don't really move, move on, on if, that's it oh shit that's the that's end it. of this episode but oh man I, um well that's that's all we got that's that's uh that's fine you know like we usually we do I think it's probably gonna this will be the shortest one we've done so far thank hallelujah um. All we had to do was not talk about as much shit. <laughs> God damn it. So we did kind of talk about a lot of shit. Still going to be almost like 50 minutes. Well, whatever. That's fine. That's more content, baby. Content is my life. Keep them wanting more. Uh, you can look forward to Dame Cross Prince Anime Caravan. Dame. And, Come on, and, man. Uh... <laughs> Put some effort in. Fucking <laughs> Rio new Rio you know Oshigoto. You look forward to those on the next next episode. We got we got an anime about shogi, and we got some anime about princesses. Turn up. Oh. Turn up. <laughs>
Ciao, ciao.